what's going on people and this is my match recap um player ratings for the west ham game obviously a brilliant result for us 2-1 maybe a bit fortunate david de Gea making a crucial penalty save to keep us in the game and ultimately other than lingard scoring the winner david de Gea he pretty much won us the game as well because it would have been a draw at least. He stepped up when it counted De Gea. I was a fan of Henderson when he came in previously last year. Um, and for a while I wanted Henderson above De Gea. But now it's not even close to me. Um, David De Gea needs to be our number one. And he, he showed up again in that game. Um, I'm really pleased for Lingard though. All the stuff he's been going through with last year going on loan, not getting the minutes for us that he, he probably should have. And obviously giving away the, the goal against young boys, the decider in that game, to bounce back like he did with that goal. And it wasn't just a, a basic, average, every day of the week goal. It was a peach of a goal. Technique, keeper has no chance. So I was delighted for Jesse. And hopefully he's going to get some more minutes going forward now because I think he deserves it. Um... And I'm just pleased for him, I really am. I think West Ham, obviously they didn't have Antonio, which did do us a lot of favours. Um, West Ham, they were, they had their moments in the game, definitely. And I think if Antonio was about um, and available, it would have been a different outcome, possibly. So I'm glad he, was, he wasn't there, because they were still good without him. Um, and he would have just added that extra bit. Um, I thought Rice was good for them. Um, a few of their players showed up. Um, they're a, they are a good team now. Um, for a few years now, they have been as well. So I'm delighted with the result away from home as well. And I think it's probably the best performance I've seen since Ronaldo's come back. Um, even though we rode our luck at times, I still think the overall performance was good, especially considering it is an away game and it's against one of the form teams in the league. So into the player ratings, David De Gea, I would give an eight. Um, way above average that penalty save bumped him up from i had him at a six originally for, for most of the game then a seven and then i bumped it up to an eight for that penalty save arguably man of the match brilliant brilliant from david Haya. uh aaron wamba saka i give a six he had a shot on goal at one point um i thought he was pretty solid defensively he didn't really make too many mistakes um but i just want a bit more from him with deliveries and crosses which i think he's improved slightly but he can still improve a lot on. But I'd give a six for Aaron Wambasaka. For Ran, I'd give a six to as well. Um, I thought he was above average, but like nothing like out of this out of this world or how I've seen him play before. But I think he was he was good enough. So I don't think anything great, but he did his job. So a six for Varane. Maguire, I thought was the worst player for us yesterday. Countless times he get giving away silly balls like short little passes. I remember one short pass he tried to play out to, I don't know if it was Aaron Wan-Bissaka or someone to the right of him, and it just went off the pitch for a throw-in. Um, not a hard pass to make, and he messed it up. And he got caught a few times as well defensively. So for me, and considering he's the captain, didn't lead by example yesterday, and I thought he was the worst player on the pitch. And yes, I'm saying that above Fred and McTominay because I felt like. They, I'll get to their ratings in a minute, and they weren't good for me either, but I think Maguire made more mistakes than they did. So, Maguire, not a good game yesterday. I'll give him a three. Sure, I'd give a six to. Went about his business, did his job, put some good deliveries in uh, from corners. And I thought he was good. Nothing great, but above average, um, slightly. So, I'd give him a six. McTominay and Fred, I'd give a four to both of them. Too easily caught out. Fred gets pushed off the ball too easily. They both get caught out of position too easily and their passing isn't good enough. So there's no creativity from either of them. For me, they were both below uh, average yesterday. So I'll give both of them a four. Pogba, I thought, had an average game. Didn't really influence it. Didn't really do a lot wrong. Average game for Pogba, but you expect better from him um, considering how he has been playing. Uh, I guess an average of a five. Bruno, I'd give an eight to yesterday. I think he was superb. He could have had countless assists with some of the balls he put in. Just a brilliant game from him, I thought. Had shots on goal. Set up Ronaldo again. I think he was man of the match. Spoiler alert, he is my man of the match, Bruno. Um, I thought, as I said, positive. He was making things happen. And he was like easily one of the best in terms of changing the game. And I think, I thought Ronaldo was good. I thought De Gea was good. But I think Bruno, for me, and Lingard was good for his goal alone. Um, but Bruno would be my man in the match. I'd give him an eight. Greenwood would give a six, just above average. 
struggled to get involved as much as he as he does at, at most of the time, um, and ultimately got substituted for Sancho. But I didn't think he was poor. I thought he was okay, and I give him just above average with a six. Uh, Ronaldo, I give a seven two. I mean, the guy is just—it's like he's not human. How fit he is, he's scoring every game. Continues to to prove people lot wrong for the people that do doubt him. Um, because people are saying he's past it, he's too old. He's clearly not, because he's proven it again. Um, he only needs a few chances. He could have had a hat trick potentially in that game as well. He could have had easily more than one goal, and I think he had a very good game again and had numerous shots on goal as well. Um, and then the subs, we've got Matic, Lingard and Sancho. Lingard obviously coming up with a goal, the winner. Peach of a goal, and I'm just delighted for him, and I hope that Oli gives him more chances this season. Because if he doesn't, he needs to send him out on loan or sell him, because Lingard is too good to be wasted on the bench. and not and, and Especially if they start treating him like Donny. I feel sorry for Donny as it is as well. Um, I don't know why Donny didn't come on again yesterday, but it doesn't surprise me anymore. But I feel for Donny, like, we need to get rid of him. Cause he's too good to be sitting on the bench. Um, Matic and Sancho, I'd, I'd give I'd give Matic... A, previously, I, originally, I'd give him a four, but then I forgot that he get, got the assist for the Lingard goal. So I'd bump it to a six, just for the assist, basically, for Matic. Um, and then Sancho, I'd give a four below average. I, I don't think he come on and did anything. I've not been impressed by Sancho since he's come to the club. Yes, he needs time. And I'm going to give him a chance, but I'm not impressed so far out of how much we paid for him and... Yes, he had the numbers at Dortmund. Yes, it's a tougher league now. But if you're a quality player, you're a quality player. So I'm hoping that I start seeing performances from him because I'm not seeing it at the moment. And I don't fall for this. You're just good because on your name alone and what you've done in the past because you have to continuously prove it. And for me, he hasn't done that yet since he's come to the club. And I'm not giving up on him, but I ain't impressed so far. So Sancho gets a four for me. And then Oli... I would give him an 8 today, and I don't give out these, these ratings that easily. You know that by now if you've watched my videos long enough. Oli gets an 8 for me today. Brought Lingard on when a lot of people probably don't like Lingard for whatever reason. Would have probably preferred someone like Donny on. Um, but he brought Lingard on and he gets the winner. So he has to take the credit for that. I thought his substitutes were better. Matic coming on for Fred and getting the assist for the Lingard goal. Sancho didn't do anything for me, but... Two out of three subs isn't bad in terms of how you've affected the game. Um, so for me, I'm going to give him his credit this week. I'm not always impressed with him. Most of the, More often than not, I'm questioning what he's doing um, on the sidelines. But yesterday, I think he did get it right. Yes, you could argue he got a bit lucky with things, like the penalty save and stuff. But he, he did what he could from his side of it and, and how he could get involved. So I've got to give Oli his, his flowers, um, and I'd give him an eight. So man of the match for me yesterday, Bruno, but closely followed by David De Gea for me with that uh, penalty save. And I look forward um, to the coming games. We've got a Carabao Cup game coming up, um, and then another league game. So games coming thick and fast, and look, we're looking good in the table, um, just below Chelsea and Liverpool on goal difference, but equal on points. It's exciting already, and I hope... Look, I don't think we're at Chelsea's level at the moment. I don't think we're at Liverpool's level. Um, we are at City's level because, uh, like, factually, because we're above them. But we know the quality that they can, they can just switch it on when they want. So it's going to be interesting to see. But we need to keep doing what we're doing, even if it's scraping games by one goal to win it. So delighted with the win yesterday. I'll see you soon.